We're going to demonstrate how to make a one-piece mold using this seahorse. In most circumstances, the item that you're molding has to have a flat back or a flat base in order to make a one-piece mold. To begin, find a plastic sheet or a base to fasten your item down to. Here we're using hot melt glue which tends to be temporary so you can usually break it away from the base and not have it permanently adhere to the plastic. Plastic corrugated strips are great items to make a mold box because you can customize them based on the shape of your item. By slitting one side of the plastic, it allows it to bend there while still maintaining a wall on one side of the plastic. Once your box has been tacked into place, you can seal it with hot melt glue and then you're ready to move on to mixing your silicone. For this application, we're using Alumilite High Strength 2 silicone. Once your silicone is mixed thoroughly, slowly pour it into one corner of the mold box, allowing it to naturally flow in and around the details of your original. When fully cured, you can disassemble your mold box and gently flex your silicone mold away from your original. The more flat you can have your original lay against the base, the better. This minimizes the amount of silicone that might flow underneath. Here the head of our seahorse was not totally flush with the base, therefore we had a little runoff underneath, which simply needs to be trimmed away. You can also make molds with multiple items in one mold box. This can be one item that's duplicated many times for a gang mold, or in this instance, a bunch of different originals. Lastly, originals that have more contours, undercuts, or geometries can still be used to make one-piece molds. This comes down to the type of silicone that you choose. If you use a softer, more flexible silicone, you're able to manipulate the silicone after it's cured to remove it from your originals and your castings once you make replicas. You can see here that these chest pieces have drastic undercuts underneath the heads and around the body. But by using a silicone such as our High Strength 3, it's really flexible and if necessary you can always make some relief cuts in order to more easily remove the replica. So whenever possible, making a one-piece mold is usually your most efficient and easiest way to replicate an item. If you have any questions about this video or any others, please give us a call. We're here to help. You can be reached at 1-800-447-9344. You can also find additional videos and content on Illumilite.com.